Hey guys, it's Anna and I am back again today with another thrift haul. I uh, know it's been a while, but I'm back with another one. And if you're new to my channel, hello, please subscribe so you can see more of my thrift hauls and more of my lookbooks. I post them often because I am addicted to thrift, to the thrift, to thrifting, shopping in general. Please subscribe. I hope you enjoy the video. If you are not new and this is just a routine, the Rift haul from Anna video, welcome to Zach. This is going to be a huge one. I mainly only found pants this time. We did go to one of my favorite locations, one that we haven't been to in forever. I was in the pants aisle literally like the whole time. My cart was so full. I think it was taller than me and I got to the point where I was like, to my friend and I was like, I have to go try on because this is embarrassing. Like I was embarrassed to walk around with the cart. That's how full it was of just pants. So there's a bump in my hair. I'm going to try really hard to ignore this, but we'll see how this goes. So I found a couple other things first. I did find some non-clothing items as well. So I will start with those and then we will go into all of the pants. I was lacking in the pants department. That's why I knew that's where I really wanted to focus. I show pants all the time. You would think I have pants, but I don't have any pants, but now it does. Starting with non-clothing items first. Um, I will mention I found a Vera Bradley wallet and I said that really weird. A Vera Bradley wallet. It was like brand spanking new. If I have some more footage of it, I will try to show it really quick right about her but so I bought that for my mom it was literally like five dollars it was probably right under five dollars it was brand new still had the little papers in it like no one had ever used it before and I was just like thank you yes so I got that for my mom so I don't have that to show today but I did find that my hair this bump is gonna drive me insane where is it I said no Oh, why? Probably looks even stupider now. And also, I did film while I was there that day, but the footage was so choppy, and, like, people were following me around. The, like, the workers were following me around, so it was really awkward in general trying to film myself, and I was so busy grabbing a million and five pairs of pants and trying to balance them in my cart that the footage is, like, really choppy, but I did film that day, so stay tuned for that. I will get that uploaded shortly so that you guys can see my day for when we went shopping, thrifting, but yeah. First thing that I found I'm actually so excited about because I was looking for something, obviously not the exact one, but something like it. So I've been looking for, like, one of these little tray things to put, like, my perfumes on, and this one is perfection. It is just an all the way, what is this, like acrylic? Acrylic plastic. It's a really thick, sturdy plastic. And then if you can hear the little jiggle thing, it has like these little circle balls right up in there. So it actually spins. Like so I can put stuff on top of it and it'll just spin around. This was probably one of my favorite finds of the day and I almost didn't see this. This was in like the Homer's little section. I'm in love with it. How much did I pay for this? Oh, I ripped it off. This I'm gonna pay $2.97 for. Straight up acrylic perfectionness. I grabbed some belts. I always like to check out the belt section just because you never really know what you're going to find there. I mean, that's the whole store. But especially the belt section, sometimes I overlook it and I forget, but I love when I remember. And this time, I scored. So all of the belts were $2 a piece. But so first I picked up this really thin pinkish pale pink one just to sit around my waist and kind of be like an accent belt. And then the little loopy clasp thing. What is this? I don't know. It's a belt clasp. Loop. But so it's really thin, so it's gonna sit nicely just to be like an accent to like cinch in, cinch in like maybe an oversized top or something. So got that one. Another thin belt that I got is this really pretty pale purple one. It's a lavender, but this is just another thin one. It has like a roseish gold color little clasp thing. Then I found this cute one. It's kind of like the only word or color that comes to mind is like a sea foam. I don't know colors. But, so I got this one. This one's a little bit thicker of a belt. I just really like the color of this one. And then the buckle was nice. That's what it's called. It's called a buckle. We're learning things here. But so, I just really like this one. It's a little bit thicker, like I said, to be like an accent belt again around the waist. And then I was mainly on the hunt for like thicker belts because I know that those are really on trend right now. It's just a really super thick, chunky belt. So I got two. First, I got this really pretty purple stretchy one and then it's got like the brown 
faux leather little accent on it and then actually just clasps together with the metal pieces and then it sits around your waist like this again it's really nice and cinchy stretchy this is actually from old navy so this is like it looks a lot more expensive than what it probably actually cost even from old navy and then i got a black one which i'm obsessed with again it's that same like stretchy material just black but the front looks like this and some of you guys might hate it whatevs i'm obsessed with it it just looks like that oh my god how awesome is that and it keeps falling apart i don't know how good this is going to stay on just because the little latch thing is like really small but i got that for two dollars so now let's go into shirts i guess first might be the easiest thing to do and then we'll just move into all of the pants all right so first thing that i got was this adidas jacket it's just a really lightweight blue kind of like really thin track jacket type one is this a track jacket I don't know, but it's plain. It's got like a really nice mesh material. And then you have that Adidas stripes down the sides and the Adidas logo on the front. Really simple. It looks like it's in like brand new condition. Like it looks like no one ever really wore it because this is that like printed on label and it's like not messed up at all. Like it hasn't been washed a lot. So that's good. And then a lot of the shirts that I found too, actually my friend found for me because like I said, I like barely looked through the shirts at all because we were tired and hungry, and I didn't have time to look at the shirts, and I wanted pants. So that's what happened. That one was only $3. Most, I'm, there's just so much right now, I'm not even going to say the price. Most of the pants were $6.50, unless they were on sale. I think I only got a few pairs of pants that were on sale this time with their color rotation. Goodwill, did I say that? We went to Goodwill. This was from Goodwill. Goodwill does that every so often where there's like a color of the week and it'll be 50% off. So I found like maybe three pairs or 50% off. So they were $3.25 instead of $6.50, which most of the jeans were. Pants, if they're not jeans or they're like more cropped or something, I don't know the way they section it off. But jeans are really $6.50. The pants are $4.25. Sweaters, it looks like we're like four-ish dollars. And then some of these shirts were like $3.75. So that's the prices because it's going to be a lot. I really wanted to find like hoodies, like oversized kind of like mannish sized hoodies, but that was a fail. But I was over there in that section and I found this one. It is just this gray and navy blue pullover. I'm just It's plain, but I love the design of like the colors, how the colors are thrown together. And then this one is by the brand. It says worn by America's top teams, Russell Athletic. But I love it. I think it's so cute on. It fits me so snug. It's not the oversized that I was looking for, but I liked it. And my friend was like, yes, when I tried it on. So I was like, I guess that's a yes. Oh, this neckline I'm obsessed with. It is just this really nice material blue pullover. It's the one with like that really cowl necked, cowled neck. I don't know. It's got a long like fold over neck. So you can wear it like higher up on the neckline or you can just like let it slouch. But I really liked this one. This one is by, it says layer eight performance. It is the quick dry. I don't know. This one's really nice. I love the material. It's so comfortable and soft. Next are two sweaters. My friend actually found this one for me and it is beautiful. It is just a bright red, if I can get it held up, bright red sweater. Like look at how pretty this thing is so pretty is this like the same color as my lips almost it's looking like the same color so this is by j crew i love the neckline of this it is so freaking soft what is this i think it's just wool oh 55 percent wool five percent cashmere that's why it's so incredibly soft there's just that long sleeved love the neckline is this like a crew neck neckline i don't know things i just like how they look <laughs> and then this sweater my friend was like and are you serious? And I was like, I'm obsessed with this sweater. If I leave it here, I will never, ever, ever be okay with myself. So I had to buy it. You guys will probably hate it. And that is okay. It's a-okay. But I love it. I'm obsessed. And so it just looks like this. Oh, how do you even like talk about this? You know what I mean? How? Do you guys hate it? Do you love it? Let me know. I love it. I cannot wait to freaking wear this, which I guess won't be till next next year next half season when it's cold outside again but this is by the brand is simply petites by by cricket lane i'm not sure where you can get that from i don't know why but i, I love it 
It does have shoulder pads in it right now, so I still have to cut those out because it looked dumb. But I just pushed them to the sides, like the back, to try it on. Lastly, for like shirts, I actually got this really long like shirt dress. Um, and it's from Zara. I love it. Again, this is something I feel like I have to wear it right and the right time of the year, which is probably only going to be around the holidays. But it is just this all the way leopard. It's like so obnoxious, straight up leopard shirt dress. I'm obsessed. I need to stop saying that too, actually. Like I said, it's from Zara. I'm not sure the material, but it feels really silky. So I'm not sure what the material is, but it's telling me in every single language possible to dry clean it and I don't want to do that. I just, I love, I don't know why I love it. It probably looks really stupid on, but I love it. Like, how can you not? The tailoring of it is so nice. And so into pants, we'll start with some shorts. I found one pair of shorts and I was really iffy about them because they were $4 for these, but I was like, yeah, why not? But so it is just this pair of black and white Adidas shorts very simple plain they're just adidas shorts was that a bad price for four dollars maybe then i found some yoga pants that look like they were still in amazing condition again they have that like iron-on label these are by forever 21 they're just this really cute kind of like a kaleidoscope design down the leg but then the outside of like the thigh is just all black and so I just love these. Then I have been on the hunt for like anything linen lately because my mom loves linen clothing. So I was actually kind of looking for linen for her. And I found these pants because I was just like grabbing anything that I found. And then I ended up trying these on and I actually like them. Again, this is something that you guys might be like, Anna, that looks disgusting on you. But I actually really like them. They're so comfortable. Um, they're just these all the way linen pants. They are brown, red, and white so cute they are by ann taylor it says on here though ann taylor factory store does that mean they're cheaper i do again i think they're a little bit too short for me but since it looks like someone washed them like in the washing machine when they shouldn't have the little lining on the bottom comes out a little bit lower to make it like the right length but i love these i love the little tie waist and then they actually do have pockets which is really nice too but these for the summertime are going to be so comfortable and with like a crop top why do I feel like I look like Elvira or something? My hair is like weird. Next, seriously getting into the actual pants. First, I found, I kind of had in my mind the whole time like certain looks that I was looking for. <laughs> certain like styles of everything that I was looking for. And I feel like I did a decent job. Mainly for pants, I was actually looking for flared pants, but I didn't do so well with the flared. I think I found like maybe two pairs. And legit, you guys, I think I found like 15 pairs of pants. So for a total for everything that I got this day, I think I paid like 100 something. But like, I got 15 pairs of pants, 15 or 16, 14, 15, 16, I don't know, I can't count. But a couple of these are like pretty up there in price for like name brand designer type jeans. So some of these, it's like one pair of these pants would have paid for, or is the same price as like everything that I just got. And that's just one pair of pants. Thrifting. That's all I gotta say. So for the first pair is a pair that I'm obsessed with. I found a good amount of like American Eagle jeans. I haven't bought American Eagle jeans like actually from this store in so long. So it's like, I don't remember how nice they actually are. For like their decent price, how much are they? Like $40? I'm like reminded how nice of a jean they actually are. So the first is a pair from, um, I can't talk. So the first pair of pants is a pair from American Eagle. And this is just a really nice like white cream colored pair and I love the rip ripping that it's got going on all over why can I hold this right but I'm obsessed with these pants you see that color change on that camera too loves it all right and then these I think fit a little bit more skinny I found a lot of skinny jeans but I'm obsessed it's so hard to find white pants you guys good white pants that fit you right that don't that aren't see-through and like have just like a weird fit like I don't know a lot of times white pants are hard because it's like all of the stitching and everything shows through in weird places I know what I'm saying I just don't know how to describe it but it's hard to find white pants and I can't fold these so they're going on the floor then I found two similar colored pair of pants the first pair is this one from J. Crew. It just looks like this. It's more of like a cropped type pant. I forget like where exactly it hits me, but you'll see it on like the try-on sections. But I really like these. These are going to be really nice for like work. They're more like khaki type pants. They're just a really nice 
maroon, like reddish type color. Love them. They're super plain. These, again, are by J. Crew. They are the Andy style. And then a similar color. Did I wear these already? I think I wore these already, and they didn't loosen up. They fit so nicely. Again, these are American Eagle Outfitters. These on here say they are the Extreme Legging. These are awesome. Awesome. So they just look like this. Again, it's just that really nice, like, is this burgundy? Burgundy, maroon, wine color, all same things to Anna. They are like skin leg type. So hugging to your entire leg. It is beautifulness. And they don't get like saggy. The only way I know to think of is like swamp ass. <laughs> they, they don't give you that. So I've already worn these. Oh, they just fit so nice. I love it. They're so soft too. They're like kind of like a suede -ish material or like a faux obviously but they feel really nice they don't have functioning pockets in the front but I actually like it it keeps a nice smooth legging type feel but the pants and the pants in the back the pockets in the back are functional they do work so I'm just gonna tell you like all the description I guess of the pants just in case you're interested so like I said these are by American Eagle they are the extreme leggings it says super stretch on here and then it also says on here AEO sateen. That might be like the type of material or whatever. So there you go. You're welcome. So next I got this really cute gray pair. Um, and so this is a pair of gray gap pants. Again, I just really like the fit of these and I loved the zipper details on it and really just like the stitching all throughout the legs is so nice. And then they have like zippered pockets on the back, just like that. You can barely see the zipper trying to peek through there, but so it's got zippered pockets on the back. Again, I love the zipper detail on the front. Do these pockets actually work? Oh, yep. And the pockets actually do work once they're zipped open. And again, these are by Gap. These are the khakis by Gap, and it's called the super skinny style. So like these, haven't worn them yet. I found some high-waisted pants that I'm actually going to cut into shorts, so they look crazy on my legs, but they are going to be cut into shorts. So, these are by Talbots, Talbots, Talbot. Um, but so there's this gorgeous red, and they are so nicely high waisted, it's unbelievable. Like, look at how nicely high waisted it is. The true test with these is just gonna see how nice and tight it stays to like my waistline, because I hate it when the pants loosen up, they're nice and tight all over, except around your waist, there's like that gap on your back. That. I got these again. I haven't cut them yet. I'm planning to use these in a video. I know someone requested before they wanted to see how I cut my shorts from my pants, so I'm definitely going to do that. I'm going to use these to show you guys how I cut my pants into shorts. So, got these and I'm loving them. And the color, I'm like a colorful pants person. I got two pairs of corduroy pants. The first one is this really pretty dark navy blue yeah these are definitely navy blue not black these are by banana republic love corduroy the only thing is hard to find corduroy that stays really nice and fitted and doesn't get too saggy swamp assy throughout the day so i like these hopefully they don't get too saggy um, but i liked the fit of these again they're skinnier to the leg they're not like a thick like boot cut this doesn't have like a style name or anything so i've got that i love corduroy i don't know why the second pair that i got is just this really pretty purple one and again they are from banana republic this is just a really nice like lavender purple color look at that so gorgy i think this might be the same type of leg I don't think it's boot cut. I think it's a little bit, it's not like a super, super skinny at all, but it's skinny enough that I like. Might have to roll it up, otherwise it looks a little awkward. Love them. Here's just the back. This color is so pretty. And this doesn't have like a style name either. Whatevs. Whatevs. So now moving on into jeans. Again, I found so many pairs. My voice is going away. <clears throat> found so many pairs. I'm going to start with more of like the, like, I guess the mall brands, and then I'll go into more of like the designer brand name type jeans, because I did find a good handful, and I'm excited. I'm trying to just really contain my excitement for the jeans that I found, because I'm like a jean junkie, actually. For the first ones, I guess I'll start with this gray pair. These are just a gray pair. These are the and denim, so this is from H&M. I am obsessed with how these fit. H&M pants fit so nicely. Love the gray wash of them. So they're like a darker gray and then the lighter like white wash in the thigh area and around the butt and like the back of the thighs. So cute. Does this have a style name? It just says skinny 
low waist. I found this really nice black pair. I'm so happy that I found like an all the way black pair because you can get away with wearing them to work. Here's this one. It has a little bit of like ruching detail, like see right in there. And a little bit on the back too, like around the legs. But I love these. They fit so nicely. They're a little bit more of a high waist, but they're so nice and stretchy. These are by Silence and Noise. So you can find them at like Urban Outfitters. Um, and yeah, they're the jegging. So that's the style that these are. They fit so nicely. I just cannot get over it. So here's the back with like the pockets and everything. And again, they have that like ruching throughout the legs. And they're so skinny to your ankles. It's beautiful. I'm like super thirsty, but I don't want to mess up my lipstick. Then another pair of American Eagles. This is the super stretch jegging. Another jegging. Um, but so these are beautiful. I literally wore these yesterday. So pretty. I love this true like indigo color. Like that's the only color name I think of is indigo. It might be completely 100% wrong. I just think of indigo. So I love this blue. This is like a true blue blue jean. I love it. They are so super skinny and I love the wash in them. But they go, they hug my ankles so nicely and then they actually hit at like the perfect place on my legs beautiful jeans thank you american eagle but so here is what the back looks like plain but these are some of my faves actually so if you see these in american eagle or you shop there often or if you try these out already you probably already know these are amazing they're amazing and i think this is actually one of the only pair of flared jeans that I found. And these actually might be... Oh, I wanted actually more of like a bell bottom. So really nice and tight all throughout my thigh. And then flared. Not like a full flared leg. Just like a bell bottom. If anyone knows where to find really nice bell bottom pants, please let me know. They're like a good price. They're like a good price. Okay. Um, but if you know where to find really nice like bell bottom pants that are like super flared but like super tight to your thigh, please let me know. I will be so thankful. But anyways, so I found these pair. This is actually by Aero, Aero Postal Aero, which I think they're going out of business, right? Uh. But so I got these. These are actually really nice. I really like these. Again, they're a really nice wash. Um, I could do without some of the fading, I guess, on it, but what are you going to do? I like the fit of these, how they're a little bit more flared on the bottom, and then the back just has those, like, buckled pockets. Next, on to the pairs of pants. I'm literally so excited to show you guys that because I'm like shocked and amazed that I actually found them there and they're in amazing condition. That's the topper of everything. So the first of my brand name jeans is another pair of like jeggings. This one, these are by Free People. Oh, they are amazing. These fit so snug, so amazing. It's literally like a glove on my legs. Like, look at this. So pretty. I love the color of them. But I've been saying about that, that about every single pair. But it's true. These are amazing. I have no words. I just have no words. Is there a style name by chance? No? Alright. We don't know the style of these. But these are from Free People. And then they just look so good on because they're just like seamless kind of. So happy I found these. I think I almost missed these at first too. And so for more of like a relaxed fit, I tried these on and just the quality of the denim is really what got me because my friend didn't so much like how loose they were on my legs. And I didn't know how I felt about it either, but I was like, for summer, it's nice to not always be so tight in your clothes. It's nice to have some things that are a little bit looser and just comfy. But the denim quality is amaze balls like amazing that's what really sold me I was like I have to get these like I don't want to take them off my body so these are Joe's jeans and like I said they do fit me a little bit looser on my legs like all the way down like starting like right up above the knee but I just love them they're so comfortable this denim quality if you ever have a chance to get Joe's jeans is amazing they feel so nice on but so here is the front and again I don't know if you'll be able to see yeah so right there, they're Joe's jeans. The pockets, though, I really like, too. The design on the pocket. So there's those ones. Going into the deeper, darker washes of the denim, I picked up some of these. These are by Hudson, New York. These are a bootcut style. So I really like these. I just like the wash and the color of these. I forget why I really like these, actually. I don't know. For some reason, it was just something about these when I tried them on. I just was, like, obsessed. 
more than like even just the fact that they're Hudson brand. I just really liked them, which they're boot cut. So I don't know why I was too excited about like the cut. Not as exciting as the other ones, but still up there. And then for the last two super dark washes, I got this pair and these are so soft. I think this is another jegging. I think it's a jegging, but it's super stretchy. This is just a page denim super. Look at that super dark wash. I sound like someone from QVC right now. But so they're super skinny tight to my ankle, which I love. These again fit me like a glove. It was amazing. And then the back, like the pockets and everything are all clear and plain which is nice so they'll go with like anything. There's no, just not too fussy and like over the top design wise. So here is the front, just like that. And then this one does still have a style name on it. This one is the Verdugo Ankle is what it says. It's, Love these, oh, they're just so soft. And then last thing that I found this time at the thrift store, the last pair of pants is this beautiful dark wash pair of J brand jeans. And they just look like this. Or at least from the back, they're looking more of like a high-waisted, but I don't really think they were. Can't really go wrong with like a super dark wash denim. But these are just beautiful, no fuss, streamlined J brand jeans. And then they do fit me a little bit skinnier on the ankle as well. These fit so nicely. Just such good quality jeans. I can't take it. This one has on here, on the tag, it says the skinny. And then it has like a number, like a style number. And then it says Eclipse. So if that's going to be helpful if you're interested in pants like this. And in case you're wondering at all, on my lips right now, I forget to mention this sometimes because I feel like, let me know if you guys even care if I show what's on my lips. I just feel like if I don't say it, people are going to ask. On my lips today, I'm just wearing the Milani Amore, Amore? Mattalics, Mattalics lip cream. This one is in the color 3. It is matte about you. Love it. It dries completely down dry transfer proof. So that is everything that I found from this trip at the Goodwill at the thrift store. Yeah, now I can finally put all my clothes away. I always keep them out like I wash all my clothes and then I'm like I can't put them away until I do a haul because then I just forget stuff and it just gets confusing and it's no fun on my end. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a like. Give it one of them big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Stay tuned to my channel. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe to my channel so you can see when I post more thrift hauls. And stay tuned because I am going to post that day when I went around shopping and actually found this stuff also. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys!